Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to check the battery health on the iPad 9. So this is the iPad 9, if I go to the about pages settings, you'll be able to see on the model name iPad 9th generation. This will also work on other iPads as well, let's get started. So as you know, the battery health isn't inside the settings, so we will need to use a third party application known as Free Tools. Free Tools requires access to a Windows computer. If you don't have access to a Windows computer, if you're on Mac, which I'm using, MacBook Pro, to set up Bootcamp, search up how to set up Bootcamp, you'll be able to be uh, good to go. If you do not have access to a Windows computer or Mac, then you will need to either borrow one from a friend or just go to a store which has a display computer available. If you are unable to access a computer, you will not be able to check the battery health on your iPad 9. There is no way to do it without a computer because Apple blocked the API, which third party applications which were on device use. So you will need to get free tools. I'll leave it in the description. Just click on download, seal it up and you're good to go. Once you've done that, let's open up free tools right here. And now we just want to connect our iPad 9 to the computer. If you're asked to trust any connections, just click on trust, enter in your passcode. Also, if you have an option which like says unable to connect, uh, and then there's a repair driver option, click on repair drivers, download all the drivers, then you'll be good to go. So you can see battery life right here. Let's click on details. And this is the charge times. So this is the amount of cycles your battery has gone through, which means how many times has it gone from zero to 100%. Now keep in mind, this isn't like literally zero to 100. It just means how many times has it gone up 100%. So if you go from 50% charge to 100% charge, that's half a cycle. If you do that again, that's a full cycle. It's not like you have to start from zero and end at 100 to actually count as a cycle. So just keep that in mind. You can see we have actual capacity. This is the actual capacity of the iPad's battery. Sometimes this will be higher than the design capacity. The reason why is because Apple's manufacturing these batteries. The minimum yield is this. Sometimes it'll be a bit higher, which means you're lucky, which is awesome. And then battery life. This is the actual battery health of your battery, which is, you know, the title of this video. So mine is 100%. Yours could be low. Yours could, well, it's going to be 100% uh, maximum. And don't confuse that with the actual battery percentage on the iPad. So mine's at 76, you can see it right there. Battery life is actually referring to the battery health. So that's, uh, that's already it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.